Just 
Moreover, the word, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hands shall also finish it. We have laid the foundation of things that we need to finish. We started too much stuff and not finish it. We have laid the foundation of this temple. We got temples in our lives. We got temples with people, relationships, things that we have in our lives that we need to finish. And our hands can only finish it. Nobody else. He said, His hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. You can't even know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you if you don't finish your work first. For who has despised the day of small things? Yes. So he's saying stop despising the small beginnings. You think you don't got it all together. You think it needs to be perfect. It needs to be uh -huh. perfect time, perfect situation, perfect. Everything has to be ready and together. No, stop despising the small beginning. All you have to do is start. All you have to do is stand. And everything else will be set in place. For these seven rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. So that he's saying that these seven lampstands, these seven things, whatever they represent, he said they rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. They rejoice to see us doing the Lord's work here on earth. They are the eyes of the Lord. They're watching us. They see what we're doing. We stand to and fro throughout the whole earth. Then I answered and said to him, What are these two olive trees? At the right of the lampstand and at its left. And I further answered and said to him, what are these two olive branches that drip into the receptacles of the two gold pipes from which the golden oil drains? Then he answered me and said, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he said, These are the two anointed ones who stand beside the Lord of the whole earth. And that's what I have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Meaning every 
everybody can eat the word. Those who have ears to hear, go hear. Those who have eyes to see, go see. I'm making plans to you. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they faithful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was dark. And this is what I need to read. Perfecting themselves to be wise, they became fools. Bishop was up here last week and he said something that had been registered in my spirit for, for quite some time. He said, we don't became too deep. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. Yeah, we don't became too deep. We don't became so deep that we allow an earth to be going on us. Y'all mm-hmm. listen, listen. This is what I mean by that. There's going to come a time in this walk where your spiritual life it's going to be intertwined with your everyday life. Because it ain't right now. And it's going to seem like, why is this so plain to me? Am I tripping? What I mean by that is this. You're going to be walking down the street, and he's going to preach you a message about you walking down the street. And you're going to say, this got to be me. I ain't got no Bible in my hand. I ain't no, ain't no thing going on. I'm not. Because your spiritual life is becoming your life. If if every time I see you, you have to say praise the Lord to me, something ain't right with you. Say hey. <laughs> if every time I see you, you have to say praise the Lord to me, you profess it to be wise. He said this to me, and I thought this was real deep. He said, We have become so deep, we have focused more on delivering the word than the word delivering the people. Oh, we get these words together, man. We get these pretty things together. Right. And we, we pick some things up, man. And we post them on social media. We teach them behind the pulpit. And everybody leaving and still getting attacked by demons. What's wrong? You teach you good. But where is the fruit of that teaching? Right. Something's missing. Y'all, this is what I'm telling you. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready today. I'm putting all my stuff out where I normally put it at. And I'm saying, hold on, there's something missing. I'm looking for my hole out. Hold oh, on. I'm looking in the closet, in the closet. I'm waiting for my name, for my name, and my name. And I'm missing that one. And I'm moving it without my hole. Because, you know, before I start, I hold myself up. I realize I've got to hold myself up good. And I get down on my knees and I pray, what am I going to do without my hole? The Holy Spirit says, stop looking. Mm -hmm. That oil is a representation of me. It ain't me. What what are you going to do if you don't have oil? Are you going to stop? Right. Uh, Don't worry. What are you going to do if they take away the Bibles? You going to stop? Because you 
don't have no practice in the Word. You read it, but you ain't living it. This was this is the one that's gonna get me in trouble with Faith and love. Zachariah, his daddy was Zachariah. 
It was old. It was old. I bet old. old. Yeah, yeah, I have one and a half of so many stories in the Bible. So, this story don't sound for me. He is too old, folks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but they was old. Zachariah and Elizabeth were amazing followers. The word says that they were blameless in the law. So the word says, which means they followed. They followed after God. As a matter of fact, when Herod was king, when they were doing the, uh, the, 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 the burning of the incense, they had to see Zachariah and that everybody was going there and burn the incense. You had to be found righteous to go in there and burn the incense. So, so, so they sent him in there to burn the incense. And when he went in there and burned the incense, the other people stayed outside and prayed that they could go inside. And when he went inside, the angel Gabriel appeared to him. And he said, Is that right? He said, Is that right? I'm about to burn something, y'all. Y'all about to have something. The word says that Zachariah accepted but not in faith. A lot of times we accept this stuff, y'all, but we don't believe it. That's good. He telling you something, you accept it, right. but you don't believe it. So Zachariah let Gabriel tell him, Gabriel began to tell him all this stuff that his son would do, he's going to be this mighty man, you know, he's going to be the carrier, he's going to open up the way for the son of God to come into the world, he's going to be the, you know, the progenitor of it. He said, this, this, this kid is going to be so holy that he's going to be born with the Holy Spirit. He didn't know what the Holy Spirit was. Hmm? So Zachariah must have got, must have got a real weird because Zachariah said, ah, right, everybody get it, but how can this be, man? I'm, I'm old. My wife old. See, how, how, how did this get out? You sure you got the right person? I mean, sure you got the right person, is she? I know you're telling me to do this, but you sure? Come on. Out. I know that I was there. I'm in cross the bed and I tell my wife, look, we gotta do this. She said, he called you. <laughs> huh? And 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 that why I must have got on bed for nurse and gave her something to shut up. No, literally. He said, not only do you shut up, you ain't gonna speak again until you have your son. So he 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 knew him. Because we don't understand the power of it to me, y'all. He could have spoken his baby not to be in existence. So sometimes he'll shut you up. Sometimes he'll lock you out, y'all. Why did you learn from that good job? Because I didn't need you in there talking to the wrong people while my family ain't around. Because I don't need you to bring you down. I gotta shut him up. Thank you. You ain't gonna talk again to you, ain't baby. Tell them all these beautiful things and son of God, all this powerful stuff and son of God. And you sit here with this belief, I don't have time for that. Y'all don't, y'all don't listen. Sometimes I gotta tell you, I got time for you with this belief. I gotta get some action out of you, so I'm happy with some traction. Oh man, everything going good and all of a sudden, oh man, I had to do some traction because of your disbelief. Y'all, oh, listen, I got, I got, I gotta do something drastic so you won't mess this thing up. He's burned something. He, he, here it is. He's trying to burst something in him that he's in disbelief of because of his age. I don't care how old you are. He's God. If he's saying, first of all, first of all, he didn't send Gabriel a big hope. I'm taking my time out to speak to you. Y'all I'm down here. If you've ever heard the voice of the Lord, you should feel honored. 
I just, I just go to church every Sunday. I just, 
is all I'm here for. No, 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 no. I got work for you to do. I got work for you. Still, I got work for you to do. You think you in your lane. Mm -mm. I still got work for you to do. You gonna birth the new nation. Now listen. You gonna be the projector of this, of this, uh, of who us is in my spirit into this world. Because y'all, what I'm telling y'all is, I walk around every day and what I see, I don't like. Not the job yesterday. And I see a young, I see first I see a couple of the, the managers in the car. Then I see another young lady come back there. She crying. And then as I'm back there on the plane, I hear her tell the story. She says, uh, uh, somebody in her family must have gotten an accident or something. They were saying it was real bad. It was an ICU. And, you know, all these things was happening. And everybody back there crying. And they hugged him on. And then I left back. And when I came back, when I came back around, when I came back around, uh, I saw one of the other ladies. She was uh, choking and laughing with her, trying to make her smile and laugh. You know, and it was working a little bit. You might even have a little cry laugh. And I was like, oh, that's what's up. And the Holy Spirit said, no, it's not. She don't need a smile. She need prayer. Mm -hmm. Because when she goes to the hospital, y'all, listen. Mm -hmm. That little feel good on ain't going to work. At some point, she don't have to deal with reality. And without prayer, we just want to feel good. Huh? Don't learn how to feel good in this world. Because y'all, I'm telling y'all, man, I can see now. And I ain't talking about that I got glasses. And what I see is not good. I'm in the bathroom cleaning the bathroom. So last night when we got I'm in the bathroom cleaning the bathroom. And I come out and get something off of all the car. And I see. I see somebody standing there. Right. I said, she got something. In the bathroom. The neck, the neck, the gas in the bathroom. I see, got some nerve. And as I walk back around the corner, God said to me, ain't that something? You cleaned it up somebody else and they got the nerve to be impatient. Ah. How you think I feel? Wow. Because what I want to tell you is that one of the first times that day that I had cleaned that mess, and when I left and came back, it was the exact same way as when I left the game. Like, listen. Wow. Because, because at some point it should start looking a little bit better. How come you keep making the same mess? Oh, that's good. You keep making the same mess? The mess still look the same. Because I clean blue. I ain't no blue, but I clean blue. I'm good clean. Okay. And I done clean it up and I come back 15 minutes later and it's right back the same. Keep repeating the same cycle over and over and over and over again. You got the audacity to be impatient. Mm -hmm. You got the audacity to have a wrong posture. Mm -hmm. That's good. Listen, y'all. He's trying to do work in us. Because instead of us trying to prove something, we got to be the proof. How long were you going to let a baby sit in your son? He's been feeding you ideas. He's been feeding you ways to get out of your situation. He's been giving you all types of things for you to do. And you ain't been the first one yet. Monday don't never seem to get here. I'm going to start Monday. Hmm? Monday ain't got here. Yeah, y'all, I've been starting a podcast for two years. Ain't shot the first episode. This 
say this to y'all, this is the confusion. People take my words as if I'm beating them down. No, that's for me. Y'all just get here. We got to start walking on this word. We doing the first thing. Y'all showing up, keep showing up. Keep showing up. Because I'm telling y'all now, he's birthed something in us, y'all. He's birthing something in us, y'all. And because you can't see it right now, don't mean it don't exist. Because they do the EKG and they don't see the baby in there. That's the ultrasound. No, that's the ultrasound. Ultrasound. Yeah. And they don't see that in there. They see it in It just don't pick up on the area wrong because they got home. Ah, uh, you want that run, baby. This is because they got pulled on my machines can't detect this. The closer you get to God, the more quiet you become. Yes, Oh, okay. I made a decision two days ago that I will never argue. Church, uh, 
this because as I always say this, you know, um, we're, we're not supposed to sing. And the coming of the Lord Jesus, he got rid of the, the, the rest of the mm -hmm. and y'all that I'm praising him. Mm -hmm. Come on. So we no longer live as a terrestrial.
On Tuesday, we are having, I didn't even read these announcements, so we really know. But on Tuesday, we are having our second uh, Brother Z, Brother Brother Me. Uh, not sure the location yet, right? Be sure the location. Same place. Um, but uh, if there's any uh, guys that's online or anybody that wants to join, I know anybody, please feel free to reach out to me and you know, we'll be at our location. Um, we are just, we're just a band of brothers coming together trying to be better men of God. Be more men of God. Um, it's hard to keep brothers together, so I'm excited and ready for the second one, I'm telling you. And it seems like these brothers are excited and on fire for our God, and I'm excited about it. Um, I thank Brother Jay for being ahead of that thing. Um, I will give you this information if you guys want to come through this every now. Um, but other than that, I think that's all the announcements we have for now. But we will have some announcements coming soon. This next, this, listen, the start of next year, we're going to set this. We're going to set the combo on fire. Not the combo, the combo, the combo. I don't like that little word. We're going to set the combo on fire. Starting the first uh, first of the year because I'm telling y'all right now, man, we're about to do some things in the city, not just this city, but different states and all. So I want y'all to get excited about it. We're about to do some work, man. I'm excited about the work. Um, but that's all I have for you for today. Um, we are gonna pray. Father, y'all, we thank you for the opportunity to be in the presence of We ask you today, Father, that these words that went forth today, Father, don't fall in their ears, Father, but they pierce the flesh, Father. Awesome, man. Father, we are thankful, Father, for who you are most of all, Father. We ask that you continue, Father, to bestow upon us, Father, your word. Continue, Father, to bestow upon us your ways, Father, that we may just dismiss our ways, Father, and follow the Lord. Father, we understand, Father, that we are nothing apart from you. So, Father, we ask that you never allow us to be apart from you. Stare up our pure mind, show us ourselves, Father, that we may die for ourselves, heaven. We love you and we thank you. I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.